Comparing fractions using area models. You learned before about fractions. For example, one third is a fraction that represents one part of a whole made up of three equal parts. You also learned that the number above the fraction bar is called the numerator, which here is the number one. And the number below the fraction bar is the denominator, which is three here. In this lesson, we are going to compare fractions using area models. Let's take the two fractions, two sevenths and three fifths, to find which fraction is the larger one. To do that, we simply start by representing each fraction using area models, just like we learned before. Note that we will use the same whole for both fractions, but for the fraction two sevenths, we will divide the whole into seven equal parts and then shade two parts, as you can see. For the fraction three fifths, we divide the whole into five equal parts and then shade three parts. Look at the area models we now have. What do you see? Notice that the fraction three fifths represents more of the whole than the fraction two sevenths. In other words, the fraction three fifths represents more parts of the same whole. So, two sevenths is less than three fifths and we use the less than symbol to say that it is less. Now, let's do another exercise and compare these fractions. These area models represent the first two fractions, two thirds and one half. So, which of these symbols can we use to compare between them? Notice that the shaded area for the first fraction is bigger than the shaded area for the second fraction. This means we can use the greater than sign to show that two thirds is larger than one half. What about the two fractions one fourth and two eighths? If you look at their area models, you can find that both area models have the same shaded parts. And this means that both fractions are equal. So we can say that one-fourth and two-eighths are equivalent fractions. And here we use the equals sign for the comparison. In this lesson, you learned how to compare fractions using area models.